Don't tell Charlie. I got a present for him. Really? What is it? What, what, what? Well, um, it's something that you put in water. It's tea. Tea? The water's in the bathtub. Why does Charlie not want with a bathtub full of tea? It's not tea. Uh -uh. It's something that makes you clean. And it makes bubbles. Bup, bup, bubble? <laughs> um, is it a bathing powder or a bathing liquid? Does it sting your eyes? No. Does a weevil ring around the tub when you're finished bathing? No. How you spell it? It begins with an M. M. Mm. And it ends with a Y. Y. E. Mm. E. Right. And it gets you clean while you soak in the tub. Mm. E. Mommy! Matey. See? Oh, where'd you get it? Oh, I get my matey at my favorite supermarket or food store. And you can, too. So get new matey, mama matey. Matey gets your family clean. And if you live in Canada, liquid matey is available there, too. Happy birthday, Charlie. And here is your present. Yeah, it's a watch. Mm -hmm. It's not the best watch in the world, but it's, uh, well, it's all I could afford, you see. You know, it's one thing about it, it's uh, brand new, yes. There's, there's only one thing that's uh, second hand about it, and that's the second hand. <laughs> well, there you are, Charlie, and many, many happy returns. Well, thank you, Mr. Goodfellow. Thanks a lot for the watch. And all I can say is, it's about time. <laughs> you get it? Uh, watch is about time. <laughs> it's, um, uh... Gee, that's beautiful. Hey, Mr. Goodfellow, no kidding, sir. Mr. Good, Mr. Goodfellow, sir. He's gone. Yeah, I wish I could have thanked him nicer for the, for the watch instead of making such a wise remark. You know, I did the same thing to Lance Trout. Yeah, I mean, so what if she only gave me an ice cube? I mean, she only gets a nickel a week allowance, and after taxes, what is it? And besides, she gave me that ice cube with love. There was a lot of warmth in that ice cube. I ought to change. You know that? Yeah, I ought to stop being such a wise guy. Nobody likes a smart horse. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to do. From now on, <laughs> I'm going to be a new, nice me. Oh, boy. Where is somebody? I just want to be nice. Hello there, old jelly -os. Say, jelly -os, I want to apologize for not getting you a birthday gift. You see, jelly -os, I ain't got no money. I'm glad you didn't buy me a gift. Glad, glad do you hear. I hear, I hear. I don't believe you, but I hear. Why should you buy me a gift? To avoid getting hit like last year. Oh, I don't deserve a gift from you. But you always holla, forget it. Forget it, my dear, dear friend. All right, buddy. Out with it! Huh? Who are you? Speak up. I will admit that you got a good disguise on. But why is you trying to impersonate my old friend, Charlie Hall? But I thought you know that I know Charlie Hall. And he ain't never talked in his whole life as nice as you just talked in this past minute. Hush, puppy, this is me. But I'm changed. Can't you see? No more nasty me. I'm gonna be good. So good I'll help Boy Scouts across the street. I want everybody to like me, cause I like everybody, everybody that I've ever met, everybody I never met anybody that got me upset. Don't sound like you. No chair for my shoulder, ate my heart, a green in my eye. And as I get older, I find that more and more I like everybody. That's my kind of fun. And the lights strike everybody. Yes, you do. As chump number one. Oh, no rub can rub this good naked slob of his private sky of blue. I like everybody. And especially I like you. I don't 
don't get it. Oh, well, I'll see you later, Huss Puppy. I, I want to see if I can help Mr. Goodfellow with his garden. <laughs> I like everybody. That's my kind of fun. I don't know what's gotten into old Charlie Hogg, but I think I liked him more when he wasn't so likable. <laughs> the lawn. Lum -chi -chi. Oh, hello there. Here, did you hear about the farmer who taught his son to shine shoes so that he could make hay while the sun shines? <laughs> did you, did you, oh, I'm glad to see you, Sherry. Hello, Mr. Goodfellow. Hey, what are you going to do, mow your lawn? No, no, I'm just oiling up the mown lawn because, uh, uh, because, uh... Honey, what's the matter? What? Charlie Horse has offered to mow my lawn. Did you say Charlie Horse offered to, to, to mow your lawn? Yes. I didn't believe it myself at first. And then what happened? Nothing. I still don't believe it. If Charlie Horse offered to mow your lawn, he's done something terrible. I, I don't trust him either. But nothing seems to be wrong. Nevertheless, if Charlie Horse volunteered to mow your lawn, he's covering up for something. But Watch. what? Watch. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Did Charlie? Oh, what? Oh, what? Did Charlie Horse do? Oh, what did Charlie do? Did he break a window with oh, a ball? Splatter ink upon the wall. Or did he break a cookie jar? Or did he steal your candy bar? It's much too much, too much to be true. Oh, tell, oh, tell, oh, tell, oh, tell. Oh, somebody tell me what, what did, did Charlie, Charlie Horse do? do? you on the head. Trample on the flower bed. Oh, has he chopped a cherry tree? I wish that he confided in me. There's got to be an angle or two. Oh, tell, oh, tell, oh, tell, oh, tell. Will somebody tell me. What did Charlie Horse, what did Charlie Horse, what did Charlie Horse, what did Charlie do? You know, you can make beautiful things like this darling little slipper with your Remco little red spinning wheel. And they're easy to make, too. Just watch and you'll see. Now, Remco brings to girls a new, wonderful, creative world of play, the little red spinning wheel. Spin and loop and then you pull. Spin and loop and then you pull. Spin and loop and then you pull with your little red spinning wheel. Lovely braid comes out by the yard. Wind like this and make a hat. Make a bag, it isn't hard with your little red spinning wheel. Rugs and scarves, slippers too. Hats for Dolly and hats for you. There's no end to what you can do. With your little red spinning wheel. Girls, let me tell you, Remco's Little Red Spinning Wheel is the greatest toy a girl can own. $7.98, including yarn. Well, Aunt Chop, dear, would you like to play? Uh, hmm? Play? Yeah. With who? With you? With me? With you? Yeah. What do you want from me, Charlie Horse? Nothing, nothing. Uh, you know, you always ask me if we can play together, and so I, and I always say no, you know, and so today I thought I'd say yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what do you want from me, Charlie Horse? Dear, Charlie Horse just wants to play with you. Sherry. <laughs> yes, dear. The last time that Charlie Horse asked me to play, we played house. Yeah. Well, what were you, the mummy or the daddy? The roof. Uh, the roof? Yes. Charlie said, let's make believe it's raining, and he kept pouring water on me. You are joking. I was soaking. Lancha, that was the old nasty me. 
This is the new me. Now, come on, let's play. Lamp chop, go ahead. It's safe. All right. I want to play house. Okay. And I want to be the mommy, or and the daddy, or and the big sister, or and I want you to be the little baby brother, who is very bad, and who everybody yells at all the time. And I want to yell at you all the time, and maybe spank you. Or a lot. All right, Lamb Chop. Let's play. What do you want from me, Jolly Horse? Nothing. Now let's play. Uh, can I play too, Mommy? You could be my servant. Your servant? Yeah, and you come in twice a week to spank Charlie Horse. All right, let's play. All right, now, um, now I'm the daddy. Okay, okay? Okay. Okay? I'm the daddy, and I, I'm make believe, just coming home from a hard day's work at the office. Oh, all right. What do you do all day, Daddy? Uh, uh, I am... I am the President of the United States. You can't be the President. Why not? You're a girl. Didn't you know that all the Presidents were girls? President Kennedy isn't a girl. All but one. That's not fair. Lance Charles, there's been 35 presidents of the United States. Not one of them has been a girl. There you go. 35 presidents, all men. Not one could do the job right. If they had gotten just one girl, she would have been enough. Right, Sherry? Well, sweetheart, right. Right, you're the president. And the daddy? Right. <laughs> and now, I'm the daddy. President, just coming home from a hard day's work. How do you feel, Daddy? Exhausted. Ah. Anything I can do to make you feel better, Pop? Yes, you could scratch my back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 that's one more, that one. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Charlie Horse. What? What do you want from me? Nothing, Lamb Chop. Take it, Charlie. I don't need it. Lamb Chop. Charlie will buy me another one. Whatever it is. Lamb Chop. There's only one thing that I want from you. <sighs> I told you he wanted something. Wait, dear. Don't go away, Sherry. I don't know what he wants, and you may have to help me carry it to his room. Lance up. There's only one thing that I want from you, and that's your trust. That's too bad, Charlie Horse. Why? Because that's the one thing I don't have to give. <laughs> the doll with the rockabye eyes? It's Tiny Tears. Let's watch Tiny Tears. A real surprise! You're so lucky. Isn't she beautiful? My brand new Tiny Tears with rockabye eyes. Look, she's crying real tears. There now, Tiny Tears, don't cry. Play a while in your playpen. Tiny Tears comes with so many playthings. Does her bubble pipe really work? Why, sure. Watch Tiny Tears blow bubbles. Tiny Tears looks so tired. Everyone loves Tiny Tears. See? Tiny Tears' eyes are slowly closing. Only Tiny Tears has rockabye eyes. Your mommy for tiny tears with rockabye eyes, an American character doll. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter with me, Shari? Why doesn't anybody like to know me? I'm trying so hard to be, to be different. <laughs> well, we all like you. We just don't know you. Uh, hmm? 
me tell you a story about someone who tried to be something she wasn't. Mm. I've got a story, an old, old story. Yes, I've got a story that I hope will please. I've got a story, an old, old story about a fox, a crow, and some cheese. One day, long, long ago, an old lady Clo, looking for a meal, saw a nice piece of cheese sitting on my window. No sill, which she promptly decided to steal. And as I watched, she flew to my window sill, and she took up the cheese in her beak. And as she landed in the tree, she gloated to herself that she'd stolen her meals for a week. Ah, uh, but someone saw Madame Crow. And you know they're very sly. And as I watched and listened, the fox began to praise the crow to the sky. Oh, Madam Crow, you are the loveliest creature that I have ever seen. Oh, Madam Crow, how do you keep those claws so sharp and so clean. Oh, Madam Crow, I have heard your voice is beautiful as can be. Madam Crow, Madam Crow, won't you sing to me? Now the fox was so delighted with the fox's words that the crow opened her beak to sing. a game of bop baseball. Batter up! Everybody's getting it, playing it, cheering it, Ramco's. Bop baseball, pitch it smart, bang it hard, score it big, Ramco's. Bop baseball, it's the pros game, it's the great game. Make it your game! Bop baseball! Well, here we are, the top half of the ninth inning with a score tied at 7-0. The count is 3-1, and, and there's the pitch. Down the middle, strike two. Boys and girls, it's tense. And here's the payoff pitch. A sharp drive to right field. It's in there for extra bases. The man on first is in. It's a stand-up triple. Kids get Remco's newest and most exciting action game, but baseball, 898. Everybody's getting it, playing it, cheering it, Remco's, but baseball. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. 
Bop Baseball. Well, uh, Charlie Horse, did you learn anything from my story about the fox and the crow? I certainly did. Good. What did you learn? Never to sing with a piece of cheese in my mouth. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I did. I learned to be myself. Good. Of course, I want you to keep your promises, even if you are yourself. Huh? You, you promised Mr. Goodfellow you'd mow his lawn. Ah, huh? so what? So what? Charlie Horse, how can you break a promise? You'd be amazed how much easier it is to break a promise than it is to mow a lawn. Oh, Charlie, besides, no besides. I already, I have no excuses. I already mowed the lawn before. No, I'm tired of your excuses. You already mowed the lawn before. What kind of an excuse is that? You already mowed the lawn before. You already mowed the lawn before? That's a pretty good excuse. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> what, what, what's a pretty good excuse? Well, well, well. Look who's here. The President of the United States. That's all right. Don't get up. Lancho, I want you to forget about being President. Oh, you said before that we could play and I could be anything I wanted. And yeah, 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 I know. But that was before I heard the story of that cheesy crow. Hmm? Don't you know the story of the fox, the crow, and the cheese? No, but then I'm so busy at the White House, I seldom get a chance to read. Lancia, forget the president then, huh? But, I, dear, he's, he, he's right. Just be yourself, and you make those who love you happy, cause you are the one they want to see. Be yourself, and just remember to make yourself as good as you can. Hi-ho there. May I call your attention to my crackerjack blackboard? You will notice my arithmetic. One plus one plus one equals one. Impossible, you say? Not at all, I say. So we all know that one bunch of delicious candy-coated peanuts plus one bunch of yummy candy-coated popcorn plus one toy surprise equals one box of crackerjack. Am I right? Oh, horse, you are fantastic. <clears throat> After this, they'll just beg me to go to college. And when I go, I'll carry in my school bag a triple pack of Cracker Jack with three toy surprises. So I'll have enough Cracker Jack to eat after my meals with a glass of milk and between all my classes. I might even start a new Cracker Jack Glee Club at college and we'll sing popcorn, peanut, candy coated snack, toy surprise in every pack, crack, a pack. A cracker jack, you're bound to crack a smile. Well, I'm glad you joined us today for the day when Charlie was turned over a new leaf. I don't know what kind of leaf he turned over, but um, I'm glad he decided to be good anyway. Next week, we're going to play cowboys and Indians. Or Indians, anyhow. See you next week. <laughs> The Charlie Lewis Show has been brought to you by the American Doll and Toy Corporation, makers of the Betsy McCall, Tiny Tears, and Hedda Get Better. <laughs>